Student, there are two types of return that any investor uh, might be interested in the market. The one is called historical return and the second one is called expected uh, return. When we say historical return, it means we are talking about the past, whatever already happened in the market and investor now is calculating that return. In this lecture, we will understand how we calculate historical return and what are the possibilities to calculate expected return, what is the role of probability and the economic indicators and economic condition that might be applied to calculate expected rate of return. This lecture, as I discuss, uh, will focus on historical and expected return. Uh, when we say historical rate of return, one thing uh, uh, should be clear in a student mind that uh, the term return means uh, the profit or loss uh, that you are obtaining uh, based on your uh, investment. Uh, return might be positive or might be neg negative depending on whether your investment give you profit or loss. Second thing, when we say historical rate of return, it means that this has already happened and this information is already available and you are calculating that uh, return. So this can be taken as a uh, past event. For example, in the last year you invested some amount and after one year you sold it. So at the time of selling the amount, uh, you can decide whether you get profit or loss. And when you convert this information into a return, then this kind of return may be taken as historical rate of return. But it's true on the other hand, the expected rate of return is an entirely different thing. Expected rate of return is depending on what information you are forecasting about the uh, foreseeable future, uh, the economic condition, the industry sector, and the company overall environment. Uh, on the basis of all these informations, uh, the expectation of return from the future can be taken as expected rate of return. And this expected rate of return generally we calculate on the basis of probability. This probability cannot be taken on the basis of the fundamental concept that you studied that um, uh, if a coin uh, is tossing, it might uh, give you 50% chance of head and tail. Uh, this can be taken on the basis of the judgment that you are keeping in mind when you are planning uh, for the uh, future. For example, a student in this example, you can see that a person invested uh, 10,000. Just say, suppose after uh, one year, the value of this investment has changed to uh, 12,000. If I initially invested 10,000 and now the investment after one year is 12,000 and if I'm interested to calculate return, the return might be calculated like this. We will take the selling price, we will minus the buying price that can be taken as investment and you will divide by the buying price. So the return is coming in the form of 20%. This 20% will be taken as historical rate of return that you have already realized and you have a complete uh, data for this information. But on the other hand, if we take this kind of situation in which we have three different economic conditions, the first in which the economy is somehow strong. Second, uh, we are indicating that the economy is somehow weak and the last one is there is no major change in the economy. And I was discussing earlier about this probability that these probabilities will not be fixed. It is purely depending how you are determining these probabilities. If you think that the strong economy uh, might come on a higher side, then you can change your uh, probability position from 0.7. Uh, you can keep it as 0.2 and you can move to uh, 0.7 over here, depending on your plan. These are the expected rate of return that we might expect from the future uh, position of the economy. If you are interested to get expected rate of return, then we will take this probability multiply by the return that we are expecting from the future. And when you sum it, then you can get uh, expected or average rate of return from the uh, future plan. Remember that this calculation is quite easy. We are taking probability multiplying the uh, return and finally you are getting the 0 0.07 or you can uh, call it as 7% return. But this return is not the actual return that you will realize from the future investment. This return is only indicating you that if economy is facing this kind of situation and the economy uh, is giving you return as per your prediction, that what return you might expect from your uh, investment plan. 